hello so in this uh, video of solidworks we are going to see that how can you make bottom up assemblies and how can you make exploded isometric assembly drawing so let's start uh, first of all i will say that if you are going for assembly files so we are, we are going to make that so we are going for making a bottom up assembly i, uh, I have three parts for that so let me show you that three part first of all that three part so uh, first part is the block bottom like this so you can make a part like this infinite dimension so for that let me give you dimension Primary plane one, second item two, third item this one. So you can pause the video and you can see that these are the some dimensions which you can use to make this a kind of a block. The second part is block top and this part looks like this so it will come on on this block bottom block it will come from the top this if you need dimension I can show the dimension primary datum secondary datum and tertiary datum so this is the bottom this is the uh, block top diameter length all things is given and the thickness is 15 and the third third part is the block pin so let me open that also block pin so this is the block pin let me give the dimension for this also only diameter 15 length 30 and it has two cross like this one this is the chamfer of 1 to 45 degree so that's the block pin so now we are going for make the bottom of assembly in bottom up, bottom up assembly we are going for maybe we are going to put first the bottom part then the top part and then the top part like this so let's start going for file click on new assembly okay so now we have this workspace for making an assembly here are three open documents part files so let's pick up the block bottom first place it click, click on this arrow button like the tick mark the origin has been uh, merged with the origin of object again go to insert component block top put it like this go to insert component and click on block pin so these are the three parts for which we are going to make an assembly so now uh, go to mate select click on this mate option click on this face and click on this face so as you can see it will uh, make it coincident click, uh, right click on this now uh, get to this edge and find the midpoint of this edge or the other thing what you can do you can click on this edge and click on this edge so likewise, likewise this it can make coincident with the two edges so now click on this the third thing we can make this click on this edge click on this edge so now it has been mated as you can see here it has been mated like this so now what about this pin so for that click on this surface as you can see and click on this 
hole so it will make it make go centric and click on the top face and this face so that it can make coincident with this top surface so now the assembly has been completed like this now for this how can we go for making exploded isometric view so for me for making exploded isometric view uh, let's get this kind of view first okay now zoom out scroll uh, uh, do the mouse uh, scroll scroll wheel out and we can zoom out now here as you can see there is an exploded view option click on this now exploded step this is the exploded step type regular type radial type selecting the regular one here you have to select the components so select the first component like this now as you can see there are three like x y z move and you have the rotation also we are not going to rotate this we are just going to make it up so click on this and move it up like this a little bit distance now click on this second move it like this upwards so you have this exploded view uh, so there are some options which you can use like you can give the distance rotation auto space components it will make you auto space if you give the space option and then you can click on this is block top block pin and also select this so that you can get this one also so you have three block bottom block top block pin so now we have done for this exploded view like this so that's in the way you can make you can uh, get the exploded view of an assembly so uh, after this we are going to see that how can you uh, use exploded isometric assembly drawing for making a drawing file in SolidWorks. So yeah, I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like it, like the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.